Chris Garcia here again. Um, I'm going to do this uh, video real quick, just giving you some of the materials I've been using the last like two and a half, three years to really get me on this whole, uh, what I believe is happening in the times we're living in and what's going to further happen, where I've been getting info, seek and you shall find, right? Not necessarily just going to the Word, which is the main thing, to go to the Word, but there's a lot of material out there to help us see what's going on in our world. A lot of different news places you can go to. Too. I wouldn't go to regular media on the regular news and cable. It's terrible. You got to go on the internet and, and find the good stuff. Um, Shoebot.com. That's a shoe and bat put together. Dot com. A lot of info you get from there. WND. It's a World Net Daily. Check them out. Uh, dot com. You can subscribe to them. Um, People, I've gotten stuff. Walid Shubat, obviously Shubat.com. His son Theodore Shubat, very good, smart guy, just brilliant. This is a his book here, for God or for tyranny. If you want to know about how Christianity has influenced the world uh, through history, it's it's in there. There's so much good stuff in there. Uh, I don't have the brain to explain it. Um, this is a book by Dave Hunt. A Woman Rides the Beast. I even have it. I have it signed, the autograph in there. This guy signed it for me at Calvary Chapel Montebello about 10 years ago um, when I was allowed to go there and I didn't ask questions and I was dumb concerning the scripture. Uh, I got that and uh, I used to be adamantly against the Catholic Church. Catholics out there, I know you're just as Christian as I am, a lot of you, so. Um, I don't think you're the hard little Babylon. I don't think you have anything to do with that. In fact, I know you don't. So we got to get our uh, our other evangelicals to realize the truth of, the, of what the Bible speaks. This is a book, <clears throat> Sleeping with the Devil by Robert Baer. It's a, it's concerning, uh, it talks about Saudi Arabia a lot and how Saudi Arabia influences the United States and, and other uh, countries as well. They have a huge influence because of the oil money. That's something everybody should look into because that's uh, that's big. Uh, I believe the harlot of Babylon is Saudi Arabia, and I, I, I believe we'll see Iran destroy that, and I believe that's biblical. If you look at, uh, there's another book, and the best book concerning all these things would be Walid Shubat and Joel Richardson's book, God's War on Terror. God's War on Terror, I have it, but I lent it to my aunt, so I don't have it with me. Um that book is going to change your whole outlook on the scriptures. So if you can read that, read it. A lot of people don't like to read. It took me a while to get to read, and I don't like to read either. But if you want to know God's truth, you're going to have to do, a, you know, you're going to have to do some some hard work. And um, these are just some of the books, some of the things that I've done to get me to where, you know, to, to see the Bible for what it really is, a real plan God has for this world. And we can be part of the plan, or we could be in the way, which I believe a lot of churches are today, just in the way. They, it's all about love and peace and that hippie era that they brought in with them, you know, that, that hippie love stuff. Does God love us? Absolutely. He loves us enough to give us, give us the truth. So we could either believe what he has given us and love him back and do his will and see, see how we can further... Uh, uh, preach the gospel of his kingdom, which is what we're supposed to do. Or we could keep talking about love, love, and how much of a sinner you all are. Uh, we're all sinners. We know that. Anybody with a brain knows that they do things wrong all the time. You don't need to be constantly told that and feeling bad when you get out of church. At the same time, you shouldn't be told prosperity, prosperity. That's ridiculous as well. But there's a truth. There's a plan that God has. And you could be on board or, you know, uh, I don't want to be on the fence with when it comes to God's plan. Uh, you're either with him, for him, or against him. I'd rather be with him. And so um, God's war on terror. Uh, um, Joe Richardson's um, Mideast Beast, Islamic Antichrist, uh, two good books he has. You can go to joelstrumpet.com, Joel, J-O-E-L, joelstrumpet.com. Uh, uh, shoebot.com, shoe and bat put together.com. Um, you can go to uh, tedshoebot.com. He's got his own website. Um, Ted is Walid's son, and he's a genius. Guy's a genius. You guys should really check out his his work and the news that these guys are bringing forth from the Middle East is 
it's uh, it's news you don't hear every you don't hear the everyday news. The other thing they talk about Islam being a peaceful religion. Come on, everybody knows it's not peaceful, um, and that it's been hijacked. It has not been hijacked. The guys doing all the crazy stuff, they're doing what the Quran says to do. So get that out of your head. But you know what's amazing about the Muslims, and we need to pray for them because these guys, you know, they they love who they think is God. So if we can get them to see that Jesus is their God, and that Jesus is the one triune God, if you get them to see that, they're be they're going to be on fire like no one else. And they'll show you what it is to be a real Christian. Um, there's there's Christians that were Muslims that are losing their head over there in the Middle East right now, and 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 the church in the West over I mean, we don't say nothing about it. It's time we step up, you know. Well, God has called us for a reason. He's called America for a reason. We're the ones when when those guys in the Middle East screw up. He call, he gets us to go out there and straighten them out, and and this time we do it again. But we got to get more people, you know, to see the Bible for what it really is, God's plan, not a book to to uh, make their lives all great. That's not what it's about. So when we get that uh, in our thick through our thick thick skulls, we'll we'll, uh, we'll start seeing uh, we'll start seeing us moving the nations. If you have faith of a mustard seed, you can move the mountains. That's referring to nations. Mountains means nations. So uh, I pray that God uh, allows us all to, to see his truth and, and to act upon it. So for all of you, I hope this stuff works out for you or it helps you see things a little differently. I'm going to come out with more videos, and I'll give you more information on different things and, and whatnot. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Get my email for one of my other videos. All right, God bless.